Members of National Union of Local Government Employees and the Coalition of Civil Society Organizations embark on a roadwalk in Joss, the Plateau State Capital, to create awareness for the autonomy of the third tier of government and present a list of demands to the State House of Assembly for speedy passage. That is not killing local government pool. We have no problem in passing local government autonomy bill. As of today, the giving effect of keeping local government of funds accounted majorly for banditry, kidnapping, and terrorism because there is rural urban migration. If we must take the fight for this insecurity, local government must be financially autonomous. What local government autonomy stands for is that it is a democratic right of the people. It is not just enough for us to go for the president and other officers. We should be placed in a position where we will go for our own local government chairman and for Nigeria to prosper and for Nigeria to be continuous prosperity. The only answer and attitude to that is local government autonomy. So we are waiting for the flag to say to pass the law now. Receiving the demands from the knowledge leadership, the Deputy Speaker of Plateau State House of Assembly, Saleh Yipmung, assured the group that the state legislature will not disappoint Nigerians in the passage of local government autonomy bill. The Plateau State Nine House of Assembly will not be too far away from the thinking of the people of Plateau State. Because we know that we kill our powers from the people. And we have the constitutional responsibility to sit and deliberate, deliberate on behalf of the people. The group believe an autonomous local government will lead to rapid grassroots development, reduction of rural urban migration, provision of more employment for the youth, as well as ensuring maintenance of rural roads and rural electrification, among other benefits.